Hi guys and welcome to another video from Total Technic. Today's video we're going to be showing you how to use one of these disc uh, type spark plug measurement tools to set the correct gap in your uh, brand new spark plug ready for it to be fitted. So a couple of things to point out very quickly with, uh, with spark plugs. Uh, the gap that you're trying to set is between the uh, little arm and the uh, centre pin uh, just in there. And you need to find out what the correct gap is uh, for your application for the make and model of the car that you're fitting it for. It's not necessarily always the same. Some spark plugs will come pre-gapped at the correct spec uh, for your particular vehicle. Uh, others won't because they'll be designed to be fitted into multiple vehicles. And either way, you should always double check it anyway just to make sure that it is to the, uh, the correct uh, specification. Uh, you will also buy uh, certain types of spark plugs you'll find will have more than one arm. So you'll get uh, spark plugs that might have three or even four arms on the top and uh, they usually do not need to be gapped. It's usually only these single um, arm types that need to be gapped. And they usually say on those multiple arms that they do not require gapping. But it's not a difficult thing to do. But what you will need to get is one of these little disc tools. You can buy these really cheaply on uh, eBay uh, and Amazon. I mean, these are like two dollars three dollars something like that including shipping uh, really cheap uh, but this will allow you to get your spark plugs absolutely spot on so the way that this uh, works as you we can see it says uh, inches on the front here and around the outside uh, we have uh, denominations of uh, inch gaps and you'll notice if I turn this to the uh, to the side this gap starts out very thin here and as we come round obviously this starts to get thicker and thicker and thicker and this corresponds to the, uh, the size of the, uh, of the gap. Now also uh, the other thing to mention is on the front here just you've got this hole at the top right up here and just underneath that it says gap opener. Now you use that if your gap is too small. So if you uh, try and set the, uh, the gap and you measure it and your gap is too small it won't go around far enough to where you need to get it what you can do is actually use that as a leverage tool. Just place that in there and just lift that and that will actually, you need to do it a tiny bit remember, you need to bend that arm just a tiny fraction so you can use that to do that if it's required. Also if we flip it over we've also got the, uh, the measurements on uh, millimetres uh, on the rear as well. Uh, so you've got both uh, that can be used with this same tool. So for my particular application today, I need to gap my spark plugs to 0.044. So if we look at the, uh, the, uh, the scale on here, I can see that we've got 0.040. So I need to be higher than that. And then the next one is 0.050. So we know halfway between those two on that little center mark just there is going to be 0.045. So I want to be one under that. So that, that little mark there, one back from that little central mark is 0.044. So that's what I want to be aiming for, that little mark right there on the tip of my, uh, tip of my thumb right there when I get my spark plug. So remembering I'm aiming for uh, 0.044, you put it in at this thinnest uh, point on the end and you just slide it round. And as we can see, I can't get Looks like these have been pre-gapped to 0 0.040, so I actually need to open mine up a tiny little bit, so I've still got to come round uh, to that point just there. So I need to use the, uh, the gap opener that I mentioned uh, previously, and just give it a tiny little touch, and then try it again. Obviously I've opened it too much there, I'm now at uh, a 0 0.051 approximately. So to uh, bend it back, all you do is you take the, uh, the back of the plate and just press it firmly on the uh, top of the arm. Again, I'm not trying to bend it too much. And then do it again. Yeah, see so I've taken a little bit off of it, not quite enough. I've just adjusted it again. We are getting very close now. Oh, I think I'm there. There we go, perfect. So I've now gapped that to uh, 0 0.044, which is correct for my application. Uh, I'm working on a V6 car today, 
Uh, so obviously I'm going to have six spark plugs to do. Like I said, sometimes they will come uh, pre-gapped, but even if they do, it's always worth double checking. And this is such a cheap tool, this will quickly become an indispensable part of your toolbox. Thank you very much for watching, guys. We really do appreciate it. Uh, if you'd like to support us in return, please hit the uh, thumbs up, the like button. And also, if you could hit subscribe, it would be much appreciated. Thanks, guys. We'll see you again.